Capitalk Sports Update with Ngoni. Capitalk Sports Update with Ngoni. Coming up, goals galore in the Premier League as Chelsea put five past Western at Stamford Bridge. Details shortly, but first in your local sport. We start with cricket where Bangladesh won at the second T20 International against Zimbabwe by six wickets in Chittagong. So despite late goal game heroics from Brian Bennett and Jonathan Campbell, Zimbabwe were restricted to 138 for seven, with Bangladesh reaching the target with six wickets to spare. Bangladesh now lead the series 2-0 with the three matches to play, leaving Zimbabwe needing to win the next game to keep the series alive. To the Kasolega Premier Soccer League, Highlanders reclaimed top spot despite being held to a goalless draw by RNO Movers at Baba Fields. Highlanders are level 19 points with Manika Diamonds but on top on goal difference. Caps United bounced back from the defeat to Highlanders last weekend with a convincing 3 0 win against Wange. William Manondo scored a brace with Hastings Chapusha getting the other goal. Elsewhere, Zimbabwe moved into third position with a 2 1 win away to Chegutu Paris. Perfect Chukwende and time on Machope were on target for Simba Bora while Cleopas Duve scored for Chegutu Pirates. Your standings in the local PSO, Highlanders top on 19 points, Manika Diamonds level with Highlanders on 19 points, Simba Bora are on 17 points, Chicken in 16 points with FC Platinum on 15 points. In international sport, we zoom in on results of our EPL matches played last night. It was a miserable afternoon for Tottenham as they succumbed to a 4 to a fourth Premier League defeat in a row following a defeat to Liverpool. Mohamed Salah's goal set the foundation for Liverpool to beat Tottenham 4-2 at Anfield. Andrew Robertson, Cody Gappo and Javi Elliott were also on target before Richardson and Yang Min Son reduced the deficit. After the match, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp was pleased by his team's performance but remained optimistic ahead of their match against Wolves. But I was not emotional today because I now have another one, so that's how it is. I know that Wolves will be tricky. With a tricky day, um, I don't know how we saw that, but it's in two weeks' time. Why should I worry today? Um, for now, it's good. I love, I don't have to say it all the time, I love absolutely everything about this club, but um, um, yeah, we, we will see how that day <laughs> will be. Maybe we are lucky and it's pouring down like crazy, so uh, we cannot stay outside after the game. <laughs> yeah, we would see, wouldn't see that, that on top of that, so let's see. There's a good chance that it will be pouring down, by the way. Elsewhere, Chelsea produced a scintillating attacking performance to thrash Western 5-0 and raise further questions about David Moyes' future at the club. Nico Jackson scored twice with Cole Palmer, Conor Gallagher and Noni Madreke, adding to West Ham's misery. After the match, a satisfied Chelsea boss, Maurizio Pochettino, was happy with the performance and says that the team is finally finding its form. The team has uh, realized that to compete is completely different to play football and we start to understand how we need to compete you know uh, in, in 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 this uh, in this uh, in the premier league and yes always a young team need uh, first of all um, to to start to settle and to apply the the principles and of course after that uh, we were, we we learn a lot in the way to compete that is why uh, we can see now different uh, situation on the pitch Brighton beat Aston Villa 1-0 in the other fixture. Your leg standings in the EPL, Arsenal top of the table on 83 points. Manchester City second on 82 points with a game in hand. Liverpool on 78 points come in third while Aston Villa completes the top four on 67 points. Action continues tonight as Manchester United are away to Crystal Palace at 9pm. Finally, in the Miami Grand Prix, Lando Norris uh, claimed the first victory of his Formula One career in his 110th race as he took full advantage of a timely safety car and then emphatically pulled away from Max Verstappen to win the Miami Grand Prix, shedding the unwanted record of the most podium finishes without a win in his sixth season of Formula One. So your podium, Lando Norris, first of McLaren, Max Verstappen of Red Bull in second, or Charles Leclerc of Ferrari come in third. And that's your sport for this hour. Back again in the next hour with another sports update.